Welcome back to The Doctors. Today we're tackling some of your most embarrassing questions about your very own family. And 18-year-old Ellie has a little problem with her mom's feet. Have a look. The first time I saw the rash was when my mom went to the doctor. I was a little grossed out because it was it's like flaky and red and like dry. It's uh, on top of the foot, in between the toes, on the heel, the top of the heel. Sometimes it has red bumps on it. I will wake up and have itched it so hard while I was sleeping that it's bleeding or something. In the summer, we like to wear sandals or we do a lot of boating. And it's really embarrassing when there's just like a red, rashy, dry foot sitting there. I'm wondering what other people are thinking about the rash. I worry the rash could spread because I don't want to end up with it. I hope my mom can find out what it is and get it taken care of so it's gone. Ellie and her mother Jody are here with us along with Dr. Ali Sadre, who met with them just before the show to help explain what's going on with uh, some funky feet. Yeah, let's take a look. All right. Is it both feet? No. Just the one? Yep. You can see, Travis, if you take a look, this is uh, yeah. blistering and red and a lot of dry, xerotic areas. All that kind of cavitation, that wrinkling appearance, and this blistering sensation on top, does that hurt you? Does it burn ever? It can burn sometimes. Okay. It, it gets almost burning and then like super, super itchy. And do you ever get bur like bleeding between the toes? Yep. Well, this is, this is common. And what we see with this is undiagnosed tinea pedis, bad, deep infections of the skin, which is fungus. Oh. And it's common. It's not your fault. We actually all have it on our skin. But what happens is when that infection gets inside, so it's opportunistic, then it can go rampant. So you probably picked it up somewhere and one area of your skin was violated or breached and then it got inside and it went crazy. And if you take a look, we actually have a little indication on the toenail as well. There's a little opening of the toenail, there's a little discoloration there. Mm -hmm. So once that fungus gets in the skin, it can go into the toenail and the skin. So they kind of feed off one another. And it's a very simple treatment. The over-the-counter stuff doesn't work because those creams don't go through your skin. They don't get to the deep layers, only on top. And this fungus resides in the deep layers of the skin. So we actually have to treat you systemically. We give you a medication, a pill. Mm -hmm. You'll take that pill. In about three to four weeks, you'll notice a resolution and it'll be gone in six weeks. Fabulous. Yeah. In, in the meantime, Ellie, you want to know, can I catch this? Yeah. That was a big concern I noticed on the tape. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't have feet that look like that, right? No, I don't. So, Dr. This, this, is, this is a great question. I mean, I tell patients whenever they have any kind of problems with their feet, first and foremost is obviously take the precautions not to, not to cross-contaminate because you don't know if it's contagious or not. So you want to make sure that if you go in the shower that you take a bottle of, like, let's say, Windex, empty it out, put a little bit of bleach in there and top it off with water, and you can spray the shower floor down. Very dilute. So that way you make sure until you see your doctor, no one's getting it. This kind of problem can be contagious, yes. And, it is and the key is, this is why we always say, if you're walking around a locker room, wear flip-flops. Totally. If you're in a communal shower, wear flip-flops. Because this could just start a simple old athlete's foot, which yeah. is the same thing, fungal yeah. infection.